grab a seat get comfy we're gonna do a rainbow eye look yes i already did this one on tiktok so i'm gonna show you what i did and then we're gonna put mascara and um eyeliner on <laughs> Woo, words just escaped me so you're gonna go with a neutral color that's kind of close to your skin tone ish this is not very close to my skin tone it's pretty pink but just something light just something you can blend the eyeshadow into you're gonna go all over your lid with that color and then actually in all reality for makeup tutorials these youtube videos are easier than tiktok videos <laughs> surprisingly enough so then you're gonna go in with a pink color i'm going to go with this one right here if you want to know what i'm using leave a comment down below i also have products in my store if um any of those will help you as well i would love to talk to you and give you some really good customer service one-on-one -on -one. so then you take a fluffy brush and you go into the color and you put it all over your crease and then you wipe off the excess and blend 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 circular motions blending it all through the crease and then after i'm done the circular motions i do the swipey swipey back and forth motion and then i wipe my brush off again because i use really really pigmented colors and then i go back in with the circles and swipeys to blend that out and then when i'm done with that i take a white of some sort a matte color you can take a shimmer color i hate that look but you can do whatever you want if you love that look do it but i go right underneath the brow bone with white or whatever light color i'm going in with this white 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 right now and i just go under the brow and take it all the way across and then blend it so that it just gives a little bit of dimension i forgot to actually do it on this eye but the uh, point came across so if you watch the tiktok tutorial sorry i left that out um then i go in with a darker color which one did i use with a pointier brush which i use the pointier brush for under my brow as well and then i go in with a darker color i'm gonna go in with this one right here and i'm gonna go in to the middle of the crease to give it more depth so going in the middle of the crease and that's where I pack on the color and then I take the fluffy end of the brush, cleaned it off on a paper towel or a color switch. You can do either one. And then I bl blend it out like I did the uh, other part with the circles and swipey swipies. I use very technical terms over here. And so if you look at this eye, I did not actually use any purple. And that's because pink and blue together make purple. So then the, so you don't actually have to use all of the colors of the rainbow and it still looks like you did. So next we're gonna go in with a light blue. And if you are looking for something, yeah, I have all kinds of tips to find palettes that you can do all of this with for inexpensive or for extremely good quality, whatever you're looking for, let me know. I would love to help you. So then you take your fluffy brush and take the light blue and go in the outer corner with that. Pack it on. So dab, 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 dab. Wipe the brush off and blend. I never go past the middle of the the crease with the blue and so now to add a little more depth and then the whole depth thing so the pink you could just go with the one pink and that would be fine and the blue you can just go with one blue you don't have to do both but if you want to add just a little more depth take a darker blue and take your pointy brush take your darker blue and pack that in the middle of what you just did not all the way around because you still want the other color to shine through for dimension 
dimension. I don't know why I said it like that. And then you take the fluffy brush cleaned off and blend that out. I go down first because it's a really pigmented color. I swipe down first and pack it in there more. Clean my brush off. Swipe the down again. Swipe, swipe, <laughs> well, swipe the down again. This is a great tutorial, is it not? And then I take the circular motion and, bl and the swipey swipey and blend it all out until it's desirable. And this looks a lot darker than this side because I have the yellow on already on this side. But don't worry, the yellow will tone that down just a little bit. And the other thing is blue and yellow together make green. So you really do have all the colors of the rainbow by the time you're done. You can take a shimmer color, you can take a yellow color, whatever color you want to take. I'm using this yellow color right here. And going to the middle of the eyelid and packing that on. This one I'm not blending out, I'm just packing on. So I'm doing that swipe down motion. And then I'm going to do it again and go more in the middle, middle and keep it concentrated to the middle. And then wipe that brush off and blend it out a little more. So now, one doesn't look more intense than the other. And now, I'm going to take a shimmer color and go on the outer corner of my eyelid, my eye, not my eyelid, I mean I guess it is my eyelid as well. Take the pointy brush, there goes my eyeshadow, oh no, oh no, there's almost all of my eyeshadow. Okay, we're going to just, I think it was my electric palette, oops, okay, all right. We're back in business. So you're gonna take the pointy brush, pack it on there, and then just dab the outer corner of your eye. Ta -da! So the eyeshadow is done. And uh, don't forget to clean your brush. I think I'm gonna do one more video and do a winged liner tutorial for you because I don't want to pack too much information into one video so your mind is about to explode. Uh, but if you all want to watch them all, you will be able to. They will be in a makeup playlist. Don't worry. You will be able to watch all of them if you want to. So uh, stay tuned for that video. Love you so much. And as always, dream big and take action.